Good morning, I'm Rena Nainen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Tuesday, January 6th. Brutally cold weather is invading the eastern two-thirds of the country. There were more accidents than dispatches could count in upstate New York. A lot of drivers could see the edges of the roads and, well, they couldn't see them. And this is what happened. Residents were told no unnecessary travel. In the Upper Plains, though, an Alberta clipper brought dangerous winds and low visibility for drivers. The winds were clocked at more than 75 miles an hour. The U.S. ski team is in mourning after two top skiers died in an avalanche. Ronnie Burlack and Bryce Astle were part of a group of 10 skiers on the U.S. development team who were preparing to race on the top-level World Cup. They were coming down a mountain in Austria when they apparently left the prepared trail and triggered the avalanche. Well, keeping homes warm is cheaper this winter because the cost of oil has fallen so low, but investors fear the continuing fall in prices could indicate weakness in the global economy. The Dow lost more than 330 points yesterday after oil briefly dipped below $50 a barrel. And a finger-licking good annual tradition in Mexico City, drawing sweet tooths by the thousands. Crowds gathered to sample a gigantic pastry in celebration of Three Kings Day, which is today. The three quarters of a mile long pastry was divided into 200,000 portions. It weighed about 20,000 pounds and 2,000 cooks pitched in to bake it. And all of it was calorie free. <laughs> Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Nine. And I'm DJ Holmes. Thanks for watching.